Frankie is the creator of a popular YouTube channel, Eight Passengers, and today she made her first appearance in court where she faces six felony counts of aggravated child abuse. So joining us now to talk about this case is criminal defense attorney Clayton Sims. Clayton, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. We were talking earlier about this case and just the amount of attention it's gotten. We we were looking at this was a uh, an appearance via Zoom, and there were so many people on it. Over a thousand people were attending that that some people couldn't even get on that. It's it's incredible to see the amount of attention it's gotten. Right. The, the capacity of the, the, the courthouse was overwhelmed. Uh, they weren't expecting that many people and, and they couldn't uh, process that many uh, visitors and some people weren't on mute. Uh, so it was very difficult to conduct business uh, in the courthouse. If this does go to trial, what could we see in, in regards to a defense in this case? Right. Well, so there's uh, the main defense would be reasonable discipline. So you have to ask yourself what type of discipline can a parent uh, impose upon their children. So it's, it's kind of like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. You want to be just right. Uh, not enough punishment, kids run wild and free. So you want to give them some amount of guidance, but you want to, don't want to be too harsh. So a jury would have to determine how much punishment um, can a parent give them. Uh, the case, this case, they're alleging serious bodily injury, uh, malnourishment, abuse, uh, injury. So it looks like it's probably much more than just reasonable discipline, but that will be the defense. Uh, this concept of reasonable discipline is just mind boggling to me because it's really up to the jury to decide what is reasonable in that case. And I, I can imagine that creates some challenges. Right, so people are reluctant to step in, into place and judge their neighbors and say, maybe I wouldn't do that, but is that criminal? Um, and so a jury would have a hard time looking and listening to the evidence. Um, you know, again, there's eight counts. Uh, the children would have to testify. So it would, certainly would be a very difficult uh, trial. I, clearly, the court was not anticipating this much attention, which is why we saw that, that Zoom proceeding basically get shut down by how many people were there. Um, what do you think we can expect moving forward with how the court system will handle this case, given the amount of tension it's getting? Well, the next thing up is a, a detention hearing. So um, both defendants are being held without bail. So there's a detention hearing to determine whether they can be released and what conditions uh, they would be released under probably no contact with the children, uh, not to be around people under the age of 18. So that's probably the next uh, court date would be, I think, September tw uh, 21st, uh, to determine whether they can be released. All right, Clayton Sims, thank you so much for taking some time to talk about this extremely disturbing case. Thank you.